Is this thing on? Screw it, let's do this. This one goes out to all the depressed people out there, all the divorced people out there, all the people who are stuck in a rut out there. Let me tell you a little story. I've seen it all in my life. The ups, the downs, the richest days, the poorest days. I used to live a very happy life. I did everything that I thought you should do. I got married, I had beautiful children, built up three businesses. Yeah, I was happy. I'm sure we all have a time in our lives that we're really happy. And when you're really happy, you start feeling content with life. And when you're content, life has a way of just slapping you in the face. And snap! One day I wake up divorced. Family gone, happiness gone. So what do you do now? You do exactly what you would expect. You go out, you party. You think you're having fun, but you're really trying to forget. Forget what though? Forget your life? Forget yourself? Forget how you reached here? So you keep going down a dark road, down a slippery slope. You start changing, you start living an emotional roller coaster. You have good days, you have bad days, but you just keep going. Now you have a choice to make, to make yourself a better person or to keep going down this dark road. And as many people do, we just keep going and the road gets darker. So one day, bang, you crash your car at the middle of the night. And then you know you're all screwed up when you're telling the ambulance driver on the way to the hospital that if I'm gonna die, you do not have my permission to heal me. So you spend all night at the hospital all alone. You spend all night at the prison cell all alone. You get a phone call, right? But who are you gonna call? You've lost all your friends. You've lost all your family. But you keep going, right? You keep going and suddenly it just becomes too much. A compilation of bad decisions over the years just breaks you. Every night you sleep, you pray that you don't wake up in the morning. But shit, you just keep waking up. Reality just becomes intolerable. You've given up on life. You have given up on yourself. You have lost your why and you just want out. So you escape. You don't even pack a bag and you take the next flight to Turkey with no suitcase and no extra clothes. Wearing a t-shirt and jeans in the middle of a Turkish winter. Walking around the streets pondering and reflecting on the Bosphorus River. Is this what my life has come to? Is this the story that was meant to be written? Is this the last chapter? Should we just end the book here and just finish it off? Or should we bounce back? Should we fight? Should we choose life over death? But then you realize that life can only come after death. So right there and then, I chose to kill myself. My old self, the self that I didn't even recognize anymore. That stranger who would stare back at me in the mirror. I needed to be born again. I needed to choose a new life. But I needed to 10x everything in my life. I needed to get my life back in order, but not an average life. You should never settle for living an average life. What's the point? You might as well be dead again. If you're gonna do something, do it big or just don't do it at all. So back we came with four targets, the pillars of my life. Health, wealth, spirituality, and family. But the biggest thing that makes all the difference is taking responsibility responsibility of your own choices accepting the fact that where you are today is a result of all the decisions that you have made coming up to this point don't point fingers at others don't blame others don't make excuses for your own bad decisions and inactions and blame somebody else that's just giving away control and you need to be in full control of your life you need to be in the driver's seat you see negativity breeds negativity and it's absolutely contagious it's time to get selfish selfish enough to choose life and selfish enough to choose me cut out everyone negative in your life and tell them to take their negative ass down the road you don't want to be catching that disease from them cut out any bullshit and bad influence in your life 
fact is you can't change other people but you can choose who you hang out with you need friends that tell you go read another book go do another rap work for another hour that keep pushing you and motivating you and if you can't find that then it's just better not to have friends at all after all they say you can't give anyone water out of an empty cup so you need to fill your own cup this time it was time to run and run we did every morning every evening they say you should rest when you're dead well god bless my father he ended up resting instead i was already dead for the last few years now i'm alive so fucking alive i can't stop now i can't be mediocre i'm gonna be a machine and i'm gonna do what i need to do i've been blessed enough to be given a second chance in life in fact we're all blessed to even be breathing right now in life and I'm not going to waste any of it. Not for a minute, not for anyone, and not for anything. Whilst you're alive, you never say never about anything. They say mindset is bullshit. They say show me the how and not just the why. Let me tell you something, my friends. The mind is very powerful. It can literally change your life or break your life. It just depends on how you use it. I know this journey may seem difficult, but the biggest killer in this journey is to say tomorrow, because the fact is that tomorrow will never come. Sure, you may feel temporary pain on your journey, but learn to love that pain, because that pain is the feeling of getting a step closer to winning. And when you win, you're going to win the biggest prize of all, which is feeling fucking great and happiness. You see, our minds are wired all wrong. We think we get tired when we work harder, so we don't want to. But let me tell you something, it's totally the opposite. The harder you work, the happier you feel. Because results make you happy. Even if you don't achieve the results you're looking for, knowing that you gave it everything, you gave your sweat, your blood, and you tried your best, that is going to make you feel amazing. But if you keep telling yourself the story of why you can't change, why you can't achieve because it's this person's fault or this situation or I've been dealt the wrong cards in life, let me tell you something, you never will achieve. We all have a story that we tell ourselves every day. The question is, what's your story going to be?